she shot her first ever scene without you. with another man <laughs> oh, over the weekend. That shows. I don't know what's been going on with Adam 22 recently, but things are starting to get really weird over there. Adam 22 is such a big name and has been around for so long. I'm going to assume anybody watching this video already knows who he is. Like I said, Adam 22 has been around for a really long time. I believe he started off in the BMX scene. Then during the SoundCloud era of rap, so like Lil Pump and the X era, he kind of hung out with them. He was making like vlog type videos with them a lot. And then recently over the past like four years or so, he's just been doing a podcast where he interviews rappers and other types of entertaining people. And then he also does the podcast that he has with his girlfriend where they interview other OnlyFans girls. So he's basically like just a podcaster at this point. About three or four months ago, I actually made a video on Adam 22 in a separate situation that has nothing to do with this one. If you boys haven't seen that video, I would definitely recommend checking that one out after this video. It'll just give you a good idea of all of the other stuff that Adam 22 has going for him right now and not in a good way. So almost exactly a month ago at the time of me making this video, Adam 22 tweeted this out. He says, finally got married at Lena the plug or Elena the plug. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure how to say her name, but when he tweeted this out, everybody was pretty happy for them. I believe they've been together for like six or seven years at this point. And if that is the case, that means they've been together since I was like 13 or 14 years old. So definitely a good amount of time. But here's the thing, Adam 22 and Lena the Plug have a very interesting relationship. Lena the Plug is an OnlyFans girl and Adam 22 is a podcaster for the most part at least. So obviously they have their separate work, Lena does OnlyFans and Adam 22 does the No Jumper podcast, but they also have a podcast that they do together called the Plug Talk Podcast. And in this podcast, they combine both Adam 22 and Lena the Plug's work. They'll have a podcast with an OnlyFans girl where they ask her questions about OnlyFans, about her personal life, you know, just normal podcasting stuff. And then after the podcast, Adam22 and Lena the Plug together fuck the OnlyFans girl. And then I believe the OnlyFans girl either posts that on her account or Lena the Plug posts it on her account and the OnlyFans girl gets a lot of promotion. But either way, it's a really good thing for these OnlyFans girls, I guess you could say. It gets them a lot of promotion. That's a better way to say it. And if you ask me, it was a complete dub for Adam22. Yeah, his girlfriend is an OnlyFans girl, which is one of the biggest L's you can take in the history of the world, but at least he was getting to fuck these bitches for free, and he was getting paid for it as a matter of fact, because he was getting paid for the plug podcast and the videos. So bro was getting mad coochie and getting paid. Absolute dub if you ask me. Now, I don't know if Lena the plug threatened to divorce Adam22, but it seems like the tables have officially turned not too long after they got married, because on July 27th, almost exactly a month after they got married, Lena the Plug tweeted this out. It says, it's finally happened at I am Jason Love, dropping 713, mark your calendars. And we even got this cute little video to go with it. Hey guys, guess who I'm shooting with today? <laughs> it's finally happening. <laughs> Wow, I did not know you were gonna do that. <laughs> Bro, I don't know about y'all, but to me, she looks happy as hell. And apparently this video was taken before the scene was even shot. This is how excited she is before it even fucking happened. She's already saying wow, and bro hasn't even stuck it in yet. We might need a moment of silence for Adam because we all know he is not making Lena say wow when he takes his shirt off. So clearly Adam was prepared for the shitstorm that was going to be coming his way because on the No Jumper podcast, I'm pretty sure the next day before Lena even announced the video was going to be coming, he had to make sure he let the world know that he is fully okay with her decision. I decided, well, we decided, we've been having this conversation for like damn near a year. Okay. She shot her first ever scene without you. with another man. <laughs> 
oh, over the weekend. That shows growth. <laughs> so clearly bro knew exactly what people were gonna do because before Lena even posted that video, he was on top of it telling people in his podcast. Later on in the podcast, he actually explains why after seven years, he decided it was okay for her to finally film a scene with a different man. And the way you can tell he's just coping is honestly sad. I wanna feel bad for him, but at the same time, you married an OnlyFans girl. You kind of deserve it. And I started to come to this realization that the reason why I didn't want her to do it was not because of my own personal jealousy or anything like that. It was really just the fact that I didn't want to be the guy who got roasted on the internet that week. You know, I didn't want to be the one that everybody yeah, was making feedback. videos about whatever. And I slowly started to feel like that's kind of a stupid reason for me to hold her back from doing something that would realistically be very, very good for her career, you know? So you're trying to tell me, Adam, the only reason, the one and only reason you didn't let your girl get fucked earlier by a different guy is because you don't want to be made fun of? I don't believe that for a fucking second. You're trying to fucking tell me that a month after you guys get married, you're finally comfortable enough to let her get railed on camera by another guy. I can't believe that, Adam. That just logically doesn't make sense. And it's okay. I know you're hurting Adam and I caught you lying about it too. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this next thing that he had to say about the entire situation. Because the truth is, is that the guy that she shot with is somebody that I'm very cool with, that I spent time around. I trust him. I, when she went off to go do this shit, it didn't, you know, I wasn't like hurting inside you just knowing man. that she was doing. No, yeah. no, no. I stay home. I'm not, I'm not being the driver. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> watching. Or so right there, he claims after one of his friends fucked his wife, he was not hurting inside at all. He didn't feel anything. But in a podcast that I think he did literally the next day, this is what he had to say about the situation. But I was kind of surprised because I feel like I can like intellectualize it. And okay. from my perspective, I don't think it should be a big deal. Yeah. But then after she actually did it, I'm not going to lie, I did feel kind of odd. You know, get, well, a little bit of that feeling in, in the belly, See, you know? Well, well, like, well, God damn, God, like, five real? Yeah. God, like, God oh, damn, man. like, yo. So which one is it, Adam? Did you feel nothing after it happened, or did you have a little sick feeling in your stomach? I think what actually probably happened is the very first day that the scene was taken, Adam didn't really feel anything. He was kind of indifferent, you know? Maybe more a little bit dead inside than not feeling anything. But then bro woke up the next morning with a fucking terrible pain in his stomach. The only thought he could think of is his wife getting fucking railed by another man on camera that day before. He could probably still smell bro's cologne on her as she's laying in bed daydreaming about the fucking big black cock she just took the other day. And I bet you boys missed it, but at the very end of the clip, the guy sitting next to him goes, was the guy black? Adam says, yeah. And the dude just laughs and says, oh man. Cause even he knows it's over. Over for Adam. Bro has no chance. He just lost his fucking girl a month after they got married. And I think a lot of people, including Adam, would try to make this argument and say, well, Adam fucks other girls for the Plug Talk podcast and for their OnlyFans account as well. So it should be okay that Lena does the same thing. But here's the difference. Lena is joining in on these activities. So it's Lena, Adam22, and a different girl. But when Lena did it with the guy, Guy, this time they went into a separate room where Adam wasn't there. He couldn't hear what was going on. He couldn't see what was going on. And they went and had their own personal time. They weren't having a threesome with Adam there. No, bro. Adam's fucking wife went into a separate room with another man and fucked. That is not the same thing that they've been doing for the past couple of years on Lena's OnlyFans account. That's not even close. And not only that, but let's be honest, boys, when we fuck, it's not anything serious you know we could go fuck a hole in the wall and feel the same about the hole that we do about the girl you know what i mean but when girls do shit like this bro it means something to them a lot more to them than it does to us and not only that a fucking triple whammy bro she picked the guy that she wanted to do the video with she fucking hand picked him what world have we come to where it's okay for your wife to hand pick the guy that she wants to fuck next now thankfully 
I'm not the only one out here that sees around this fucking bullshit. And I guess Adam has just been telling every person that comes on his podcast since it happened that Lane is getting fucked. Clearly it's running through his head. Clearly it's eating away at his mind because he's telling everybody. But go ahead and check out this clip because finally somebody called him out and asked him some real life questions. I think like she whispered her phone number in his ear. Oh, he definitely has her phone number. What the? How are they not? She, I mean, she contacted him on Instagram. They might be communicating so through DMs. So she picked the guy she wanted to f He is a very famous adult star. So she picked him? I think, yeah, there was really only a few that she was kind of choosing between that would have made sense. But did she give you some details? Oh, <laughs> uh, we talked about it. Because you know, Adam, fresh Mm-hmm. Just real sh Gets hit different. That's your wife, so... You know, it's you kind of like repetitive with a lot of you do. He didn't. He hit that thing different, bro. I mean, he's right with that one. If you have one and one shot only to slide on a big booty bitch, are you going to come with your A game or not? You're probably going to come with your A game. So you already know, bro, came packing. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure she had a good time. I'm sure he had a good time. And you were just cool with it. I'm sure he's numb to it. I mean, he's been doing this for a long time. Yeah, fuck him, but like, that's your wife, right? Like. Yeah, and I mean, she's supposed to enjoy it. Anything novel is going to be exciting, right? Yo, bro, like, not for nothing. I hope I ain't. It's okay. I hope I don't step in my body. No, no, no. What are y'all going to do when your kids get older, bro? Kids are savage these days. The kid Third is grade. already going to know about me having a million girls. I don't know that to the from the kid perspective, if bro, her having done it with other guys is going to be that grade, different, right? By the third grade, they're doxing the kids. The okay. kids is doxing. Let, let's just pray that things go smoothly. I can tell you right now that there is a huge difference between your dad fucking girls on camera and your mom getting fucked by men on camera. Let's say you're Adam 22's kid. Someone goes up to you and they say, hey, I heard about your dad fucking girls on camera. You're a lame. You're a loser. You know what you're going to say back to that? By the look of your dusty ass shoes, it looks like your mom could use a little bit of money. Why don't you tell her to hit my dad up? Maybe he can help you out. But if you're Adam 22 kid and some kid goes up to you and says hey i just saw a video of your mom getting fucked by some black guy what are you gonna say to that let me know what the fuck you're gonna say to that nothing you're probably gonna go fucking cry because now you know the whole school saw the video of your mom getting fucked there is a huge difference between your dad being a fucking only fan star and your mom a huge difference and clearly adam hasn't thought too much about this because he said let's just hope it figures itself out bro your kid Kids gonna be fucking devastated. Kids are fucking ruthless, bro. If your kid starts beefing with the wrong student, that video is gonna be around the whole fucking school. You better start preparing for 12 years of homeschool right now. With that being said, though, boys, right there is probably where I'm gonna have to end the video. Drop a like on the video and comment down in the comment section. Would you let your girl pick out the guy that she wants to fuck and then let her do it and take a video of it for a million dollars? Let me know down in the comment section, would you do that for a million dollars? Personally, I don't think so. I don't think I would do that. But you boys are going to have to let me know, is the million dollars worth it? Like I said, comment down in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. Thank you so much to my members, Jew Bear and the Archive Guy. You two are absolutely insane. I appreciate you boys so insanely much, man. And I will see you boys in the next one. Peace.